like to perform music that you know deals with women and and with the issues we face um, especially those songs that were written by men I like to reframe them and I like to perform them in a way that gives voice to the woman lyrically a lot of the older tunes I mean they were written by men you know, there's a very male, masculine experience. And so there's a certain yearning and longing to a lot of the bluegrass songs. A lot of men had to travel and leave for their jobs or would lose a woman for whatever reason um, and feel sad and lonely. I'm so, I'm so lonesome I could cry. If there was a song about a woman that was positive, often it wasn't from the woman's perspective. I will forever be single. You're, <laughs> you're either forever single or you're being murdered or you've done someone wrong. <laughs> so, yeah. Well, Pretty Polly, I think, is a really great example of the murder ballad and how, you know, the violence towards women that is portrayed in these songs. She's murdered, the way it's described, it's just handled very plainly in, in the way it's performed. And that always struck me as odd. So basically what I'm trying to figure out is how the two artists, Ralph Stanley and Abigail Washburn, treat the text differently with their voices. So what I'm listening for is kind of like vocal ornaments. My idea is that perhaps women um, engage with those lyrics differently. When I perform this song, I like to talk about um, how murder is often a, a subject that is sung about in bluegrass, and I like to bring up the fact that often it's the violent murder of women. It's not over the top, but I think if more people did this, I think there would be a better understanding of the gravity of, of these lyrics and these situations that many women unfortunately did experience and live. Yeah.